All right, uh, this is in response. This will be a short video tonight. This is in response to um, a question. Uh, we were talking about setting up sign bars and how I told you guys I tend to use them for on top of the piece rather than underneath the piece. And I know uh, there were some different thoughts on that. But uh, again, when you're setting up a piece on top of the sign bar, uh, or a, a, I'm sorry, if you're setting up a sign bar on top of the piece, it wants to slide around, especially if the angle is severe, like 30 or 20 degrees. So somebody wants to know how do you keep that from happening. Well, let's take a look at that. So um, I've got this set up at a 30, this block here. I just threw a piece of cold roll in my vise and, as an example. And uh, I can't remember if this is 20 or 30, but it looks like maybe even uh, 20, but it doesn't matter. So first thing I need to do is keep this thing from sliding up and down, all right? And, uh, and, and I also want it uh, parallel to this front face here. So I'm getting a nice flat angle here. Same problem here. Got this sign bar set up, and uh, it's all just going to slide around, right? Because there's nothing holding it. Well, the secret to uh, a lot of things in my life for setups are these pop magnets and they're pretty cheap five bucks a piece or whatever and i use these all the time for inspection and setups um, pop magnets are just really uh just such a great addition to your toolbox they uh i use them for anything from holding up prints to holding together setups and now i'm using three here i've got one holding the sign bar end here one holding the gauge block here and then one holding the sign bar to the gauge block here all right so if we um, go back to this original setup, same thing. Just a little pop magnet holding that magnet in place. Indicate you're purred in. Uh, I will say, though, uh, as you're tapping this piece back and forth to get this to indicate flat, always keep checking here to make sure it hasn't moved. Even though the magnet is on it, tapping the piece back and forth until you get this flat this this may come disconnected from the magnet or slide around a little bit. Just make sure it's pushed down, okay? Uh, we're not trying to beat anything here. Just you're doing some light tapping, but this can shake a little loose. So before you, you think you're finished with the setup, just push down on here. Make sure it is flat and run your indicator across it one more time. Same with this one. Uh, just run it across there one more time to make sure nothing has moved as you've been tipping this piece back and forth. All right, so I hope that dispels uh, that little uh, problem for you guys. Pop magnets are a really, really uh, great addition to your setups and uh, really cheap addition, but they're very useful.